Hey guys, I got a new video for you today and I reviewed quite a few wallets on my channel and for the most part I tend to gravitate towards wallets that have out of the ordinary designs to them or maybe use materials that you wouldn't normally find in a wallet. But once in a while I do like to review some more classic style or classic looking wallets. So when Pop of Leather contacted me and asked if I would be interested in reviewing their Driftwood 5 card leather wallet, I was pretty intrigued because I really like the classic look of this wallet and also the actual design of the wallet itself, the way it works. So this is the packaging that it comes in and I like how minimalistic they kept it. It just has their name right in the front here and it just kind of looks like a cardboard envelope that houses your wallet inside. So as you open it up, let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside. So first things first, you have this really cool looking sticker that they include. Uh, this is, it looks like a wolf's head there biting down on an ink pen. And then you have this card here. It has some of their contact information there. And then in the back, it does have some information as far as how to take care of the leather. Also um, some of the different fits and um, their warranty. So if you guys are interested, um, I'll leave this here for a second. You can pause the video and read through it. All right, and then the wallet itself. Again, this is the Driftwood five card leather wallet. And obviously, as you guys can see, this is a nice, deep, rich brown color. And I do enjoy brown leather wallets because I feel that they show the best wear um, and you know they, they look the best after you've been using them for a while. Uh, now, one thing to note is that if you're the type of person that wants to keep your wallet looking nice and pristine all the time, then I would probably not choose a leather wallet. Um, leather wallets by design and by material are going to show wear, are going to show usage. But I think for the most part, that actually adds to the beauty of the wallet itself. Um, I think it makes it your own, you know, you, you know, the different scuffs and marks and patina that it might um, develop, you know, just makes that more your own style wallet. So again, I do like that. And I think the brown leather definitely shows that off the best. Um, as far as the leather goes, you also have this stitching all the way around the wallet. Uh, it is nice and robust. This is actually something that you can choose the color of as you go on their website. So if you are interested in ordering this wallet, there's a drop down menu that will allow you to choose from a couple different colors of the stitching on the wallet itself. So the leather is actually treated to be water resistant. So that is nice because again, if this uh, tends to get wet or something like that, um, it will have some resistance to the water. So the leather isn't going to fall apart on you. And that's very important because um, one of the drawbacks with leather wallets is that after a while of using them, they tend to uh, either start unraveling or breaking or things like that. So you want a wallet that is gonna be very, very sturdy. And I think um, this wallet right here is actually a good Good example of a pretty sturdy wallet. Uh, the edges are also burned and polished which makes it look very nice but it also allows you to um, slip it out in and out of your pocket without it snagging or anything like that because it has any sharp edges. The, um, the actual stitching is actually sewn by hand and they're using imported tiger thread which is stronger than machine stitching. So that's very nice. Again, each of these after you pick the color will be sewn by hand. So that you know adds a little bit of extra effort to the construction of your wallet and makes it look very, very nice. Now, one thing that I noticed is, and I've seen this in a couple of other uh, leather wallets, is you know when you have these separate pockets to put your IDs and cards and things like that, for the most part, they tend to come down all the way so that you have another piece of leather in the back and then just sew it. Now, what I've noticed is that it adds a little bit more bulk, especially to the edges of the wallet itself. But I don't know if you guys can tell right here, this um, second um, piece of leather in the back here actually kind of comes down in this uh, triangle configuration here. So that allows you to actually have the functionality of the pocket, but not the width on the sides of that leather coming all the way down. I haven't found that it you know, hinders as far as performance goes. And again, it allows you to keep that very thin form factor on the wallet itself. Also on the top right here where you have, you know, where the wallet opens and closes, they've actually left it a little bit wider. They didn't go, um, you know, they didn't try and make it as thin as possible. Uh, and that's actually uh, by design is really good because again, as you start adding the different cards and things like that to the inside, that little gap right there is gonna allow you to still keep a very nice and thin form factor. So again, this is a five card leather wallet. 
but you can actually store two or even more cards per each of these slots. So as it is, if you want to put one card in each slot, it will very well hold five cards or IDs or business cards or cash or anything like that that you want to put in there. But you can actually put a couple more cards if you use more cards than just the five. Now, one thing that I ha I do get asked quite a few uh, quite a few times whenever I do wallet reviews, especially wallets that are more minimalistic in design, which I do prefer, is what if I carry coins? What if I carry like an extra key or something like that? So um, different wallets are designed for different purposes. Obviously, if it's not a wallet that that's not designed to carry cat co uh, coins or extra uh, an extra key or something like that you know you just have to keep that in mind just because it doesn't have that doesn't mean that the wallet is you know any less um you know useful or good construction or anything like that just keep that in mind again this is designed more to keep uh, or to carry you know cards um ids cash uh, business cards things like that so i think for the most part it does a really good job at just being a wallet. So let me go ahead and show you um, a couple of different things that you can carry in here. So I have a couple of cards here. So again, you have four slots on the inside, which you can put four individual cards if you want to. And just so you know, at first, these will be a little bit tight. And obviously that is by design, but they will stretch out after a while because again, it is leather. So just, uh, you know, keep that in mind if it they are a little tough to get into at first. So there it is, that is four cards on the inside. And then you have this uh, quick access slot on the outside, which you can also go ahead and put another card in there. This is perfect for like a driver's license or maybe a bank card that you use quite often. I like the fact that they also did this little dip in the um, in all the pockets because it gives you um, a little bit more area to actually grab onto the card. So if you want to you know, bring it out, you can go ahead and do that. You're not fishing in there trying to pull the two uh, sections apart to actually get to your card. So that is pretty nice. So again, um, that is, um, you know, the five total cards in there. But again, if you wanted to add more cards to one particular uh, slot, you can go ahead and do that. And again, it still keeps a very nice thin form factor. So uh, that is two cards there. Now, besides cards, I normally all, always carry cash with me also. So I have a couple of folded over bills here. This is five bills. So what I'll do is I'll just um, pick one of the two sides to put it in and I just put it in the back like that. So again, as you guys can see, it holds the bills very, very nicely. Now, if I wanted to, I can also just um, kind of drop the bills in there and just, you know, kind of pinch them together and put it in my pocket. You just ha you have to make sure that you keep in mind that they're not in there so you don't want them to fall out or anything like that. Now, last but not least, I always do carry a couple of my business cards in my wallet in case I'm in a situation where I want to hand those out. So I have um, one of my business cards here. So um, as you guys can tell right here, they fit very, very nicely in the back there. Or if you wanted to put them more in the front here, you can also do that. So I carry maybe two or three business cards with me. So these fit in there very, very nicely. So again, it, you know, if you want to use this as a business card holder slash wallet, it you know easily transforms into that so again it is a very versatile wallet i think for the most part it fits really nice in the pocket front pocket back pocket jacket pocket pretty much anywhere because you have that thin form factor um, it's pretty much only bigger than you know than the actual cards so you're not having a huge footprint on the wallet itself and it holds them in there very nice and secure and i think for the most part after using it for quite some time it's going to develop a really nice look to it you're going to get some scratches and some patina and stuff like that but again that's going to make it more your own and you'll be able to show it off if you want to so that is the driftwood five card leather wallet from pop of leather uh, if you guys are interested, go ahead and check out their site for this wallet. Again, you can go ahead and choose the thread color uh, if you want something different. This one is black. Uh, or you can check out some of their other models on there as well. So there it is. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.